everyone, welcome back to my channel, Clay Soil. My name is Perny and it's so good to see you. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you different drill bits that you can use to drill holes into your pot. And I know there's like a bunch of different ones out there, a bunch of different videos out there about how you can do it. Um, but these have been my um, tested uh, drill bits that I use uh, for different materials. And I wanted to share that with you because I feel like a lot of people just use the regular drill bits, but there's actually quite a few different types of drill bits out there that you can use that um, can keep the integrity of the pots and you know you don't have to worry about cracking your ceramic or terracotta pot so easily or messing up your plastic or metal pots and um, let's get right into it and let's talk about it because I know in this quarantine time you probably have a whole bunch of pots you can drill holes into so you can put them outside keep them indoors whatever um, but I hope this video is very um, informative for you and you probably probably have these tools in your um, toolbox already. If not, uh, they're not that expensive to get. So let's get started and let's just uh, get right into it. I think you'll enjoy this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to become a part of the clay soil family. Um, so go ahead and subscribe by clicking the red button. And if you click the bell icon, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram at clay soil perny. So I'm going to start talking to you about a spade bit. Now, a spade bit has a pointy uh, center with two shorter stubby pointy parts and I like using this for plastic pots and metal pots because um, compared to a regular drill bit it has three points so that actually creates a bigger circle whereas if you were just using a regular drill bit you're gonna have to get a super big drill bit to get a same size. So I'm going to be using a half inch drill bit. They come anywhere from like five eighths and lower to like all the way up to like a two inch, three inch um, spade bit. Uh, so I will show you how I use this for a plastic pot. This is a plastic pot that I bought from Hobby Lobby a while back and it's super easy. Let me just show you. you it's like within a few seconds, it's just going to go right through. I'm going to do it right in the center. Okay, so let's do it. See? And that's it. I had the, the sticker on, so that's that. Let's see. And look at the hole. Do you see the hole? that made that big of a hole just from a spade bit. I used a half an inch spade bit and it made that big of a hole and I think that's the perfect size. Um, and you know, you can get bigger spade bits for your bigger pots, but this is the super easiest one to use on a plastic pot. Um, okay, moving on to the next one. So now, I'm going to change out the bit and we're going to talk about diamond drill bits. Now diamond drill bits are really fun and I like them. Um, these are drill bits that I use for my terracotta and ceramic and glass pots or planters or whatever. You can use them to make holes in candle holders, jars wine bottles, terracotta pots, ceramic pots. It's super easy. It takes a little bit more time to get through glass, like wine bottles and candle jars because glass tends to be a lot thicker than ceramic and uh, terracotta, but you just have to be patient. But I like this bit the best for terracotta and um, any any ceramic glass because you know like with the regular drill bit when you use it and at the end it kind of the drill machine tends to kick so um i found that this um if you hold it properly and if you use it properly you don't get those um 
cracks around the edges of the hole so this is a much better idea for um, for for those kind of pots I'm going to be using a 14 millimeter diamond drill bit but this is the most easiest one so I'm just gonna end up tightening it okay so now I have my diamond drill bit attached to my drill machine and so for any glass terracotta or um, ceramic you're always going to need water because the friction between the bit and the um, the pot if there's no water it's going to heat and crack the pot okay so i just have a little thing of water i'm gonna put a little bit of a drop here now a lot of people there's a lot of videos out there that will tell you um, you know start from an angle and then go to the top I've done this enough to um, kind of do it without having to do that but do what's comfortable for you if you're more comfortable going at an angle and getting a first like a half a crease half a dent and then making your way in you go for it do it I just go right in this up and down position but this is what I do from experience what I learned is you want to create like a base with your index finger and your thumb that's gonna sit right at the base of the drill machine because that acts as a shock observer once um, once the diamond drill bit finally goes through the uh, pot so that way it doesn't go all the way in and this part doesn't hit your pot because I've done that before and it cracked my pot and I couldn't use it anymore so now I've never learned that if I just keep it like this and use the drill machine it um, it, it helps me with stability and it helps me with not having my pot crack at the end and you want to go not too slow not too fast at first and then once you get the indent in uh, of the circle you can go a little bit faster so I'm gonna start off really slow this is gonna help me get a crease and the water helps the diamond drill bit uh, push through the pot easier so make sure you use water it is a must so now I can feel that the crease has been made so I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit there's no rush in this take your time you know don't be don't be um, too hasty with it so this took up a lot of water as you can see it's it used up the water I put in there and so now I'm going to be putting a little bit more water to help it along I'm gonna set it back down and I'm gonna just fill and the hole is made so the drill bit made a hole into the pot and i don't have a crack and i have a perfect circle you guys a perfect circle for this pot see and it's a nice size pot hole for this pot and if everybody remembers this pot this is a pot that we're getting with all those uh, Costa Farm, like Angel Begonia, um, Begonia Maculatas, and the ZZ Ravens, and all that stuff. So, for all those people who are like, I really want to just use that pot as um, a permanent pot for those plants, you can just use a diamond drill bit and make a hole. And it's so easy and it's clean. You know, it doesn't leave any sharp edges, it doesn't. Um, chip the inside it's just nice you guys um there is a little bit cleanup because you know it's ceramic and clay so just be be sure to remember that you're gonna have to clean it up okay so now i'm gonna do the same thing with the terracotta pot i'm gonna put a little bit of water and i'm gonna just go right in so remember, I'm making a base for the drill machine with my index and my thumb. And I'm just gonna slowly start. All 
also I forgot to mention like making the base with your hand it also helps stabilize the pot from moving under you under the drill machine so it's kind of a two-in-one see what see what happens when I don't put my fingers at the base it'll hit the pot and sometimes if if it's high enough it'll crack the bowl so that's exactly why I put my hand at the base but this is all practice you know um, this is something I learned from like you know breaking so many pots trying to do this and it's this is the best way that I learned. And let me show you the pothole. See? See? That is the pothole. It's a nice size. So that's how you use a diamond drill bit. And it's super easy. I hope that um, if you've never used one, you try it because it is life changing. I don't use anything but a diamond drill bit for my terracottas and ceramics. I was going to show you how to use it on a glass jar or um, a, a wine glass or a vase, but it just takes a really long time with glass. You have to be super slow and super careful. It can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes depending on the shape of the vase. Uh, so you can try that at home, but I say um, stick to terracotta and ceramic for a while before you move on to glass. Um, I wouldn't start right from there. Unless you're feeling very comfortable, then do it, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk to you about a regular drill bit that most people use. And um, there's actually different types of drill bits that are made, some are made for wood, some are made for metal, some ma are made for um, bricks and outdoor projects. So you have to make sure you're getting the right ones, preferably one with a pointy tip so that it can pierce through the metal. And this is what I tend to use for metal. Um, well, I will say this is my secondary go-to option because I like the spade better. Um, I feel like it keeps, gives it a more cleaner cut around the edge, but um, I will show you how to use this on metal and then I can do it, but I can show you how to use the spade as well on metal. So that way you can see how both turn out. And this is just a metal pot I got from Michaels. Did I mention it takes a little bit longer too? See, so it's a nice little size hole, but that's not a big enough hole. Like I would have to get so many, um, a, such a bigger drill bit. I would have to get such a bigger drill bit. Um, so that's what this one looks like, which is cute if you need that size of a hole. I should say that too. So if you need uh, a small hole like this for like a two inch pot or three or four inch pot, this is perfect. But this is a little bigger of a pot that needs a bigger hole. So let me show you what it looks like with a spade bit. Okay, so now that it's tightly on, I'm gonna go right into the center. Let's make sure it's tight. This one likes to go away a little bit. And I just want to show you see it makes a it makes a central hole while the the two shorter pointy parts make an outer hole to create a bigger gap I mean a bigger hole okay well so this time around it didn't do a nicer but do you see the hole do you see the two holes compared to each other so, correction, I should have been uh, 
I said it the other way around. So the regular drill bit will create a more clean edge around the hole, whereas the um, spade bit creates a little bit more of a jaggedy edge around the hole. So it's just up to you, but it's also about time and what your needs are. So I just wanted to show you guys that there are options. You don't have to stick to one type of drill bit. And the nice thing is if you go to Home Depot and you go to like the drill bit section, you can find so many different types for so many different things. You know, you can find one that you can use for your, um, thicker uh, outdoor exterior pots, the huge ones that might be concrete or, um, you know, clay or whatever. Um, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to make a video to show you that you guys have options. You don't have to just stick to a regular drill bit. Um, you know, uh, different types of pots call for different types of drill bits and some will give you better results than other. And so I hope you can go out there and try these bits out for yourself. I'm gonna put links below in the description so that you can go ahead and buy it for yourself if you want to. And I thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very informative for you and that you'll come back again and watch other videos that I create. Um, so please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if we're not already friends. And I'll see you on the next one.